1A Championship in 3, 2, 1, Tetris. The following contest is scheduled for the best 3 out of 5 falls. On the left, rolling out of the United Kingdom. With a PB of 2.79 million, it is SV. And on the right, your CTWC runner-up for 2023. Rolling out of the Netherlands with a 2.67 million PB. It is Sidnev. Now, Sidnev is currently on top of the division, but only by one point. And the way the points work here in CTL, that means that the final match score for this championship does not matter. Now, you do want to try to not be the wildcard champion. And to do that, you'll need to do some points. Oh, dear God, what's happened? Hold on here. Let me... Okay. Not exactly sure what's happened, but we will get this back. One thirty nine for SV, ninety seven thousand for Sidnev. A uh, Sidnev getting in a bit of trouble here, very high up, but stop me if you've seen this one before. You know how it ends. Bang Tetris for Sidnev. I think that's the first hiccup I've had with Nestrus Champs since using it. I've actually never seen it do that before. Take those out of there. Two thirty six for SV, one seventy seven for Sidnev. Bang Tetris for Sidnev, SV setting up with the party down the middle. Even in a dusty house, you'll have a party. So about a two and a half Tetris lead for SV right now. Sidnev going to score a Tetris there. Another Tetris for SV. As we're halfway through level 18, SV would really like a long bar and we'll get it. Holding on to a half Tetris pace lead right now. Bang Tetris. I'm sorry, two and a half. Reading that in the wrong direction. Another Tetris for Sidnev. Yeah, SV just on monster pace yet again. 396 at 78 lines. He had a 660 in his decider. So Nev opens up the right side, bang Tetris. Another Tetris for SV. These two have been playing very efficient so far. Three and a half Tetris lead for SV now as Sidnev bangs down a Tetris. Bit of a drought forming, but look at that adjustment from Sidnev. Oh my goodness, those adjustments from Sidnev. Another Tetris for SV. We're at the 100 line turn. It is a four and a half Tetris lead for SV right now. As SV's just not been burning. Another Tetris for Sidnev. There's Tetris for SV. This has been a clinical 18 from SV. Playing Tetris for Sidnev. Another Tetris for SV. I just had to actually look down and see if this was still Carl Casey, and it is. <laughs> it's 
definitely not synth wave though. <laughs> Love the Tetris for SV. And Sidnev going to answer in kind as Sidnev is one Tetris away from the transition with the 544. Respectable transition score. Your problem is SV's got 672 and still one line before transition. Absolutely dominant 18 performance in game number one for SV looking for the long bar. Gonna just take a burn. 673 will be the transition score. Another Tetris for Sidnev, who's currently 14 lines ahead and 74,000 points down. SV stack in the wrong direction. Really needs to get this down here and start scoring again. We'll do so. Bang Tetris for both players. Another Tetris for SV. Another Tetris for SV is going to take that flat burn to open up that hole. Another, another Tetris for Sidnev. 55,000 point game. Eight lines of difference. Another Tetris for SV and, and Sidnev as well. 813,000 on level 22. Let that sink in for a second. Another Tetris for SV. Bang Tetris for SV again. 873 going to level 23. Bit of a drought forming for Sidnev, but we'll get that long bar for the Tetris, as will SV 902 on level 23. We could potentially be looking at a 24 max. Oh, not with that, Mr. Up. Just a simple. Z spin that did not work out, or S spin. He will score a Tetris there. But this has allowed Sidnev to take the real time lead, even if only by a Tetris. There's going to be a triple for SV going into level 25. Another Tetris for Sidnev. He's going to get the max first, a million four. There's a Tetris for SV. We'll also be taking. The max out into 26, provided he gets a long bar here. Where's this long bar? It's not coming. There it is finally. Bang Tetris and the max out. Ring those cowbells for the double max out. Another Tetris for Sidnev. 1.1 on 27. And now the pace lead is in Sidnev's department. Bang Tetris for SV. Another Tetris for Sidnev looking for the 1.2. Tetris for SV. Sidnev looking for the 1.2 the hard way here. There it is. Bang Tetris. And in to the level 29 kill screen at 1,210,000. SV may be able to match that. Or within a Tetris. Should he get a long bar here? And he does. Bang Tetris. 1,202,000. That is an 8,000 point difference at the kill screen. We are off and running. Sidnev already has the D on the screen with a 1.3. As SV's board is climbing up, he can't get the long bar over. And Sidnev is good for game number one. This is just beautiful. <laughs> it was until the board got kind of bad, but Sidnev is still playing. But these pieces are going to end it with the F. We'll go ahead and count them down in three, two, one. Tetris. I haven't counted, but I'm pretty sure I don't have 300 650s. Like, that's just wild. Sidnev with the traditional 1-0 lead. But then SV slams down a Tetris to ruin that. 
Where's this long bar for uh, Sidnev right now? There it is. Bang Tetris. Bang Tetris for SV. This is very high for Sidnev. Even for Sidnev, this is high. Has to take some burns, and we'll get back to back Tetrises. There's a Tetris for SV, and another Tetris for Sidnev. With some really good long bar timing after that drought. Bang Tetris for Sidnev, 117 to 92, but there are six extra lines involved. SV has a lot more than extra lines involved right now. He's got some garbage to clean up. So this can give Sidnev the opportunity to take a, a lead here. Bang Tetris for Sidnev. Uh, SV's board does not look very good. He will bring this down. Looking to take this from the top. And it's going to go dirty here. Bang, dirty Tetris for SV. Trying to stay as efficient as possible. Trying to find a way to get Tetris ready. And does so, and then bang Tetris for SV. With the whale transfer back over to the right side. Send up high up in the middle of a drought. We'll get that log bar over. Bang Tetris. That was looking worrisome with that spire of S's. But just like that, three Tetrises. Bring Sidnev to 280,000 points. 180 for SV. Score Tetris to bring it to about a three and a half Tetris difference. Bang Tetris for both players. Spin Tuck on the T for Sidnev. And we are halfway through level 18. Sidnev has 327,000. And SV is going to have 271. So 18 rolls reversed here in game number two. Complicated series of tucks here for SV is just going to go ahead and take some burns. Sidnev has a six-digit lead here on level 18. And the Strout doing SV no favors. There's the long bar, bang Tetris. Couple tucks for Sidnev, no problem. Oh, that's a problem. Sidnev with a misdrop is going to be playing clean up for a bit and... This will be SV's chance to erase some of this lead. But Sidnev going aggressive. Looking for a long bar. Not going to get it in time. Opens it back up. Closes it back down. And Sidnev is in a lot of trouble. SV, you need 406. And that Tetris will do it. SV takes game number two. Chris. Imagine SPS tracking L, T, L, long bar, Z, square. All right, I think we're five sigma at this point. We should be good. Bang Tetris. Chris Nev. Another Tetris for SV. Tetris for Sidnev. SV building up pretty high here. I need a long bar. We'll find it. Bang Tetris. <laughs> Another Tetris for SV. Sidnev looking for that long bar. We'll find it. And another Tetris. So 20,000 point lead for Sidnev out of the opening. Gonna get a key tuck in there and we'll get Tetris ready with the square.
Another Tetris for SV. There's one for Sidnev. Another Tetris for SV. And Sidnev as well. It's a Tetris for SV and Tetris for Sidnev. Sidnev remains in the lead by one Tetris. Tetris for both players. Tetris for Sidnev. There's a Tetris for SV. Another Tetris for Sidnev. That's actually something I wonder about the Tetris gym card. If you don't play seated, does it revert to old RNG? Or does it just choose a random seed without telling you? And it would be theoretically possible to get the same seed. Another Tetris for Sidnev. So was I. <laughs> uh, Sidnev getting up pretty high without a long bar. But gets that right side open for the moment. It's going to start bringing things down. Of course, the long bar comes up while the whale is covered. It has to use it to uncover the whale. This is giving SV the opportunity he needed to take the lead. He's up by one Tetris. Both players will score Tetris there. 378 for SV, 357 for Sidnev. Another Tetris. Tetris for both players. Sidnev doing the Corian over there. Oh, hi, long bar to Pensy, but gets a long bar very quickly. SV is fine. Another Tetris for Sidnev. There's a, t a couple of Tetrises for SV. It was a slight 7,599 point lead. Another Tetris for Sidnev. Lead going back and forth here. We are at the 100 line turn. Sidnev so will have the lead at the turn by about 14,000. Another Tetris for SVE. We haven't even talked about these paces, they're pretty good. Long bar for SV, bang Tetris after burning away that double. Sidnev will now be in that same drought. Another Tetris for SV. Sidnev was not quite as high on the board, but we'll have to take some burns here as the double well was built up fairly high. We have three Tetrises left for Sidnev, two for SV. We are looking at dueling. 600,000 transitions. There's the delayed Vitz for Sidnev. I'm not sure if she was like the pioneer of Vitz, but if there's a name that I ever associate with the, with the Vitz maneuver, it is Sidnev. Long drought here. Drought entering transition. 626 for SV after a Tetris. So it's probably like a 604 transition. The 617 for Sidnev, just slightly better. Going to score that Tetris with the long bar that ended the drought. Another Tetris. Very good scores for both players. There's a Tetris for SV. And another one to go into 21. Sidnev currently with a pace lead by about a Tetris and a half. Going to score another one here. Uh, nice aggressive play here for SV. Well timed. Is just going to take the double to bring this back down. Nice spin there for Sidnev. Going to take the Tetris. 
Seriously, I, I don't know if I'd ever even try a J-spin like that anyway. Another Tetris for Sidnev. And another Drought coming in. Tetris for SV. Sidnev is ahead in the piece count at the moment. And it was also ahead by about six lines at the moment. <coughs> Sidnev's board not looking so great, so this lead is currently in SV's court. Fifty-eight thousand point lead, three lines in the future. Less than a Tetris in pace lead, gonna score a Tetris there. Sidnev still burning. Might be out of this burn in a moment. No, just not getting the right pieces. This has been in a very unfortunate series of pieces for Sidnev. But they've worked fine for SV. He's gonna score another Tetris here to go to 990 on 26. A bang Tetris for SV. 1,022,000 with the max out midway through 26. So Nev's got some work to do to hit that max out. Bang Tetris for SV. There's a Tetris again. Another Tetris for Sidnev. 231,000 point lead for SV right now as we're going column 8. Bang Tetris for Sidnev. Gets that whale transfer back over to the right where you want it. Bang Tetris for Sidnev again. Back by four Tetris is almost five. Level 28, 1,000,000, for Sidnev. Another Tetris after a bit of a drought there. Going to burn this down a little bit here. Needs a long bar to go to transition. Oh, had to use it to unblock the will. Where's this long bar for SV? This is looking really bad going into 29, but does get the long bar over Bang Tetris, 1,000,000, Sidnev needs a long bar, but I think this is where the drought started. Nope, gonna get that long bar over Bang Tetris. 1,036. And into transition with 1,045. SV, Bang Tetris on the right side, up to 1,274. 211,000 points ahead of Sidnev right now. Bang Tetris for Sidnev. Sidnev gonna have to try to get aggressive here because SV is still scoring. He's got the D. Another Tetris to go to 1,371,000. Sid SV gonna have to slow down on the scoring just to get this board down. C for Sidnev, 1,200,000 and one point. Bang Tetris for Sidnev. Still backed by 180,000 as the E is on the board for SV with another Tetris to go to 1,481,000. Level 35. On pace to do the rollover. And may need it. Bang Tetris for Sidnev, 1,388,000. Trying to mount a comeback here. Long bar needed for SV, but he's just going to go ahead, burn this down. Playing it safe. Oh, I think he wanted to flip that. Still alive, but on the F, Sidnev is going to top out. SV is good for game number three. <laughs> SV saying in chat that Sidnev wins these. There's a ready from SV. Here we go with game number four. We'll count them down in three, two, one. Tetris. Danby says WTF, that scene was goaded. LT, long bar, S, square. Oh, was Dan playing along at home? He had a he had the F2. Dang Tetris. Trondus, welcome in. We've had some pretty good Tetris today, I would say.
And right now, SV is one game away from taking the Division 1A championship away from Sidnev. But it's not over. Until the curtain comes calling. Very aggressive play here from Sidnev to get cleaned up. SV will take an early lead off this, but trying to avoid a long bar dependency is going to have to take one anyway. And it's just going to say, oh, covers the whale just as the long bar shows up. Something happened with Sidnev there. I don't know what. I just looked over and saw her fumbling the controller. I don't know if she dropped it or what happened, but... She's still alive, still at a diggable level. Bang Tetris for SV. Another Tetris for Sidnev. So Sidnev back currently by about 74,000 points. Something is going on. I don't know if we're getting a malfunctioning controller or if something else is happening or what it is, but Sidnev clearly not happy with the situation right now. Through all this, she's only down by two Tetrises, now three. And with this drought, I mean... All right. Gets out of it, gets the Tetris. SV is not in good shape either. Both players are going to be doing a ton of digging here. Halfway through level 18. It's 252 for SV, 188 for Sidnev. Bang Tetris for Sidnev, who's trying to get some points on the board here after going Alex T on her controller for a second. Another long drought coming in. 20 pieces and counting. We are on same piece set, so both players are going to be suffering this drought at some point. Not sure if... Uh... Yeah, there it comes for SV. SV is well behind in the piece count this game. Tetris for Sidnev. It's still a 61,000 point game. 247 at the turn for Sidnev. Bang Tetris for SV. That's a dirty one for four rows up. Gonna be looking to bring this down. Another Tetris for Sidnev. At the turn, it'll be 336 for SV. So this is still not out of the woods for SV, despite the start that Sidnev has had. Still a lot of work to do as Sidnev setting up a series of tucks that Nice spin! Bang Tetris for Sidnev! And set up for another one. Needs a long bar. There it is. Bang Tetris for Sidnev. SV still trying to figure out his board here. Oh, a couple of missed flips there. A Vitz for Sidnev is going to make things a little complicated because there's no room to burn. Whoa, she finds the burn with the T! That was incredible! and gets the dirty Tetris over on the right to make this a very close game as she enters transition at 369. Hey, now, not a great transition score, but it's not that far off where SV is either. So you put all that behind you at this point and you play Tetris. Bang, Tetris for Sidnev. Can't get the T for the spin. It's going to try to set up dirty here. 
Long bar required, but it does not come. Still set up, though. And there it is. Bang, 30 Tetris for Sidnev. Does the Corian yet again. And is waiting for a long bar. Bang, Tetris down the left side. SV is finally cleaned up. Through all that, SV has a one and a half Tetris real-time lead, but is backed by 17 lines. A lot of runway for SV to work with. Let's see if these two can do in post. Ooh, gives up a dirty Tetris there. Probably just didn't see it in time. Bang Tetris for Sidnev, set up for another. There it is. SV in a bit of a spot here. Sidnev takes over the real-time lead. Bang Tetris for SV. That looked like a misdrop, although it could be a Vitz setup. We'll see. Tetris for Sidnev. That's not a Vitz anymore. Sidnev burns that away very efficiently. This is just incredible what Sidnev's doing here. Nice burn there. Vitz gets it done. Wants this party down the middle. There it is. Bang Tetris for Sidnev. Another Tetris. Nice T tuck set up there. My goodness. Another Tetris for SV. SV has kept the score close and is back by 18 lines. So SV has a pace lead. Bang Tetris for Sidnev. Problem is that if he tops out at any point, it's not going to be much of a chase down for Sidnev, if at all. Bang Tetris. Sidnev taking a bigger real-time lead here. Another Tetris for SV. Bang Tetris for Sidnev, who's approaching the kill screen. Not going for the line spin there. Trying to stay as efficient as possible. She probably doesn't realize that SV is having as suffer of a game as she is. Another Tetris, one more Tetris will put Sidnev into the kill screen. SV, 853, good looking board. 844 is gonna be Sidnev's score in the kill screen, so. Anything SV gets from here to 29 is going to be gravy. And he wants all that gravy. Sidnev trying to get something done here. He's probably just going to have to clean up. Oh, no. All right. Sidnev opens up the well. There's a long bar. Bang, Tetris for Sidnev. 9.99 into the kill screen for SV, who maxes out on the next line. If this... Ooh, double flip for Sidnev! Needs a long bar, he's not gonna get it, and that's gonna do it. SV, gonna take the win. Three to one. And SV will be your Season 23 Division 1A champion. 02 for SV. 264 for Almation's missed tuck for SV. That's going to be tough. And it's not getting the right piece to get out of this, so this is just going to turn into a dig. Has to find a way to open up the right side. Going to use an Aki bar for that, and then it just gets a long bar down the right side for a Tetris. And SV is going to lose some pace here to Ramations. Only a triple for SV. Ramations will take the lead with the Tetris. Another Tetris for SV. Ramation scoring as well. We're 80 lines in to the level 18 start. Another Tetris for Ramations. And another Tetris for SV. So SV back into scoring, trailing only by about half a Tetris. Another Tetris for Almations. There's a Tetris for SV. It's looked like he had some indecision on what to do with that Z. And now it's going to have some burning to do. Ah, 
Dying Tetris formations. SV looking for a dirty one here. And we're in the middle of a drought as, as SV really needs some help from the RNG right now. Finally, he's going to get that long bar for the Tetris. It's a dirty Tetris down column five. Trying to get set up for another one here. Tetris for Ramations. Ramations 516, SV 445. We have passed the turn. We're getting close to level 19 transition. Another drought coming in. And SV's like, I'm done with this. <laughs> I'm just going to burn this down finally. Oh, well, this drought is causing trouble for Ramations. They have a Tucker spin that they have to resolve at some point here. They're going to get that J over. And with four Tetrises left, transition, now three. Ramation still looking at a 600,000 pace. Going to score a Tetris there. Next Tetris will send SV into transition. And there it is, Tetris 527 for SV. Ramation's just going to go in with a double 595. Both players having to do a little bit of burning to start off 19. Peace Capture is doing some wonderful things right now on SV side. The Tetris for SV. Was it doing it all of 18 and I just didn't notice? Oh, that's fun. Right side open for Ramations. Both players will get a long bar. Bang Tetris, 682 for Ramations, 622 for SV. So we're getting a rather slow but calm level 19. Players have been playing very safe as we're entering yet another drought here. And this one's long. 29 pieces, bang Tetris for SV. And another one. Oh! Bit of a misdrop there. Both players burning out of their respective situations. Ramation still with a one Tetris lead. It's going to open up the right side. Bang Tetris. And SV is going to go aggressive here. That is not a Tetris, unfortunately. Bang Tetris for Ramations. And another Tetris. Ramations has taken off here. 821 to 708. A six digit lead has formed. As SV has not been able to use long bars for Tetris this year, finally we'll get party down the middle. Another Tetris for SV. And SV will try to catch up some here. So we enter level 26 with an 85,000 point lead for Ramations. Getting pretty close to seeing the kill screen. SV cannot be happy with that piece sequence. Only going to be able to score a triple there as Ramations gets another Tatris heading towards that max out. Ramations right side's open. Going to have to plug it. It's going to be some burning for Ramations as yet another drought's forming. We are on level 18, 100,000 point lead for Ramations right now. How much, if any, can SV cut into that as both players a Tetris away from the level 29 kill screen? Aki bar for SV. There's the Tetris for Amations. A million 25 entering level 29. And it's going to be 913 for SV, who cannot enter with a Tetris, but will score one on the kill screen. Cuts a lead about 86,000 points. A triple for Ramations to get the stack down to a comfortable level. SV going aggressive. Right side is open, but where's the long bar? It's not coming. 
Opens it up again, and there it is. Bang Tetris, a million five for SV, down by 59,000 points. As Ramations is still struggling with this forward. Another Tetris for SV to bring it within a Tetris. Set up again, Bang Tetris into the lead, 7,000 points. This is neck and neck. And now both players struggling with their respective stacks. This is anyone's game. SV. With that spire in the middle, is not able to get anything over. It's a simul top out, and SV will win by 6,600 points. What a start to this one. There's the ready. Here we go. Game number two is underway in three, two, one. Tetris. SV one game closer from knocking Allenbot out of the playoff contention. Still needs another three points to make it secure. Bit of a misdrop there for Ramations, but should be able to solve it with a couple of tucks here should the pieces come, which they are not. So he's just going to burn it away. Smart move there. Bang Tetris for SV. As SV has two on the board already. There's the Tetris for Ramations. Another Tetris for both players. Long 